Hi, I'm Dr. Butch Rosser. For me, the witnessing of the last eight minutes and 46 seconds of George Floyd's life was not the first time I've had to face blatant atrocities, either witnessed or warned against. I was a little boy when I heard about the Cheney, Goodman, and Swarner murders in Philadelphia, Mississippi in 1964. I sit in front of my television, unbelieving, seeing dogs in billy clubs unleashed against peaceful protesters that look like me. I cried uncontrollably as I heard about the four little girls who were killed in a bombing in Birmingham while they were in Sunday school. Regrettably, Unfortunately, in a lot of ways, George Floyd's death is deja vu all over again. It is true that the aforementioned lives that were lost were not in vain. This country took a great step forward. The Civil Rights Act of 1964 was inspired by those tragic events. I watched my father, supported by my mother, rise up with countless others to actively fight for what was right and contribute to change. My daddy, a black Marine in World War II, was part of the greatest generation. And I saw him commit to the cause of social justice as he committed to defeating America's enemies. Sadly, based on recent events, what was done was not enough, and there's still work to be done. Now it's our turn. For me, it is time for the son of a member of the greatest generation to do his part. And that's why I'm so proud to contribute to the unprecedented effort by the UB Department of Surgery to institute systematic change to fight health inequities and social injustice. I already hear the critics out there preparing a rebuttal of their version of, hey, you're an athlete, shut up and dribble. However, we as healthcare professionals cannot bury our heads in the sand while revolution rages around us. We must let the public know that we are one with them and we are ready to do our part. That must be a battle cry that basically says we are with you. Successfully addressing all of these monumental issues may seem like a mission impossible. But remember this, if you believe you can achieve and the UB Department of Surgery's contributions starts here. As far as what our goals should be, in tackling health inequities and social injustice, I would like to paraphrase a quote of a great American as he stood at the precipice of an unprecedented, monumental human achievement. We must not take one small step for man, but rather we must take one giant leap for mankind.